What do you mean, me? Elizabeth recreated the potion that Adeline used on Nick. Yeah. And in order to re-grim Nick, you have to, you know, do what Adeline did. Do what Adeline did? Seriously? Exactly what Adeline did. Yeah. You know, breathe in the potion and... And what? And make love to you. Make love to me? That's it? See? Not so bad, right? Why do I get the feeling there's more to it than that? When you do it, you won't exactly be you. What do you mean? The potion will transform you into... Oh, God, no. You don't mean... I got an awesome Willamette Valley Pinot for you. <laughs> Haven't heard a lot of that lately. Yeah, well, the spell of a hexen beast does tend to put a damper on the good times. So does being a grim. Wow. Okay. Are you having a little downtime? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to figure this all out. Dude, come on. It's a big decision. I don't know. I just don't want Juliet to constantly have to worry about something bad happening to me or to her or to one of our friends. And? And the thought of just packing it up, moving someplace new, starting a family, that's very appealing. Hey, man, if that's what you want to do, do it. No regrets. The problem is, I like being a grim Monroe. Are you serious? You miss it? Yeah. And I'm pissed that it was taken away from me. Maybe I didn't want to admit to it, but I want it back. Ta-da! Wow, that smells mm, so good! I know. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to the chef. I just wanted to say thank you to Monroe and Rosalie for putting aside their honeymoon. It means a lot. Cheers. Cheers. It's Vesson. Why? It's because we got married. You better get back inside. I'll check the back. I'm ready. Ready for what? You need to be a groom again. <laughs> <laughs> 